Good morning, everybody. Day 25. Emily Sanchez here. I hope everybody's doing well. So day 25, I wanted to talk about your level of intention. All right. What does that mean? Okay. Let's take an example of somebody that we want to have a better relationship with. Okay. So for our first example, let's take our spouse. What's your level of intention? So for you, I want, I want you to think about it. Maybe your level of intention starts with, I want them to hear me. Maybe you feel like you're not being listened to, okay? Now, if that level of intention was completely fulfilled, what's your next level of intention with them, okay? So let's say they hear me now, okay? I want to give to them. I want them to feel something from our relationship. I want them to feel a happiness in our relationship. Okay, now, if let's say that level of intention was fulfilled. Okay, so let's say they feel happy in our relationship. What's your next level of intention? So the level of intentions, it stretches you to come up with what your true intentions are and it, and they're so different for each person so let's keep going with the spouse so they're happy in the relationship i want them to feel a oneness with me okay now i'm going to stretch you go to the next level in, of intention let's say that's fulfilled okay so they hear me they are happy they are feeling a oneness with me i want them just to be happy in their own lives with everything that they're doing Okay, let's say that now is fulfilled. What's your next level of intention for this person? Okay, mine would be maybe that they really feel the love of God in their lives. Okay, so now what just happened to this person you want a better relationship with? You envisioned these intentions that you have for them and they went small to really big. It just helps your vision. It helps you to see what you really want for them. And doing this with a difficult person is a little bit harder because your intentions, you need to be at a place where you can be pure about them and to get to a place where you really love them. That's why it's hard in a divorce situation, but you can do it. So for my ex, if, you know, back when I was frustrated, maybe when we were first divorced and figuring out things with our daughter, my first level of intention would be, and, and remember, it has to be for them. So I would say for them to understand me, okay? And then I would say for us to be able to communicate freely, okay? Let's say that's fulfilled. Now again, it's imaginary, but what it does is it promotes it to being actualized that this is something that could be achievable and it allows your brain to be able to come up with the things you need to do to have what you are intending to create that you must think it first you must create things spiritually before they're created temporally okay Einstein had to have the ideas first before the boop, 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 boop equations and then see it in real life, right? So that's all this is. Try it. Try it with your kids. Start with the base level of intentions. Then just keep going up, 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 up. And soon you'll be like at Nirvana. You know, you want them to be one with God and one with... It just creates this really awesome peace within you and a vision for the people you interact with. Try it and then try it with yourself. What's your level of intention for you? All right, and, and when you really go big with it, you can accomplish the small things and then the bigger things to get you there. So it's kind of a vision board, level of intention. Give it a try for day 25. Bye.